So uh, let's start with a theory. The key challenge is that we don't have an aligned definition of data lineage within a data management community. Data lineage has a lot in common with other concepts. The essence of an aligned definition suggests that no common model of data lineage exists. Therefore, when a company starts implementing data lineage, the company should clarify its understanding of it. My data lineage experience started with one conversation with a colleague of mine. He came me, uh, to me and said, everybody needs data lineage, nobody can explain what they mean by that. And this is what I see in my daily practices since then. I investigated various concepts related to data lineage. I have mainly used the publications of Dahmer International. I have discovered five other concepts that had a lot in common with the concept of data lineage. These are information value chain, data chain, data value chain, data flow, integration architecture. The results uh, of this analysis you can uh, see on the slide. You will find the deep analysis of these definitions in part one of my book. The conclusion is challenging. Some of these concepts are considered as being synonymous to data lineage. These are data chain, data floor, integration architecture. And these concepts are used interchangeably. In practice, it means the following. Let's assume two professionals speak with each other. One talks about a data flow, another uses the term data lineage. At the end, it may happen that they are speaking about the same subject. In another case, two people talk about data lineage, but with totally different meanings behind them. Every conversation on data lineage, I start with specifying the definition. So my first recommendation, before discussing data lineage, align the definition with your companion. So to continue our webinar, we need to agree on the common understanding of data lineage. The common high-level definition is rather simple. Data lineage describes the movement and transformation of data along data chains. The key challenge is that you can do it at different abstraction level. I found that various definitions identify several abstractions level. On this slide, you'll see the summary of my conclusion. Level is at this level, you document data lineage describing the movement of data sets between various IT systems and application. Then you link these IT systems and application to various business processes. Every application requires a database. So you document data lineage at the physical level. In this case, you describe data lineage at the level of database tables, columns, and ETL jobs. But we also document data lineage at the higher level of abstraction. In this case, data lineage will be application agnostic. I mean the documentation and the conceptual and logical levels of data model. In this case, you'll document data lineage using business subject areas, data entities, and data aggregates. You will also think about transformation rules. As I just mentioned, the data lineage definition intersects definitions of other concepts. And you can see the results of this analysis on this slide. I used circles of six various colors to indicate different concepts. And then I plot the content of various definitions to these abstraction levels. What are the conclusions of this analysis? The first conclusion is that data lineage can be documented at four abstraction levels, business, conceptual, semantic, or semantic, logical, and physical. It worth mentioning that in this presentation, I use the classical approach to data model. I'm personally fond of the approach to data modeling developed by Thomas Friesenthal. The second conclusion is that every company should start a data lineage initiative by specifying its definition and a data uh, and data, a meta model of data lineage. I found out that you classify data lineage in four ways. These classifications are very important to scope your data lineage initiative correctly. The first classification is based on the layer at which data lineage is documented. We've just discussed these four layers. 
The second is the direction of documentation, horizontal or vertical. Horizontal data lineage links objects along one or more layer. Vertical data lineage links objects between various layers. The third type of data lineage is based on the method of document data lineage. Descriptive data lineage is data lineage recorded manually in a repository. Automated data lineage is the method to record metadata lineage by implementing automated processes to scan and ingest metadata into a repository. Later on, I'll return to these data lineage types when we'll talk about a data lineage implementation. So far, we've discussed only metadata lineage, meaning that data lineage describes data processing, but not data itself. We can also classify data lineage by documentation subject. And then we recognize metadata lineage and data value lineage. At the point, the concerns and needs of data management professionals and business users differ significantly. Data management professionals understand that data lineage describes the process of how data has been removed and transformed. Business users expect that they'll see changes in data itself. So if they get sales revenue of 1 million in a report, they hope they'll know in detail all transformations in data values along data chains. Believe it or not, I've dealt with such misunderstandings over the years. Every meeting with business users, I explain that data lineage is about metadata. The first question I get back is whether they will be able to see transformations in data values or not. Unfortunately, so far, I haven't seen any standard product that has such functionality. All data lineage solutions focus on recording metadata. I've heard about companies that tailored such a solution by stamping each, other, each data instance, but such a solution will hard, hardly work with massive data volumes. 